another graph question. Now, if I saw this on the test and time is ticking, I actually might want to do a question like this. The passage is kind of short. The graph looks easy to understand, right? The bars are going down. There's a gray bar and a black bar, and they seem to be following a similar pattern. So I don't know. It doesn't look too bad, uh, but let's give it a shot. So let's look at the passage first, uh, and we want to complete the student's conclusion. So we're just filling in that blank. A student is conducting an experiment to test the effect of temperature and ethylene treatment on the ripening speed of bananas. The student treated some bananas with ethylene while leaving others untreated. Yeah, okay, easy. Uh, then allowed both types of bananas to ripen at one of four different temperatures. Cool. Yep, got it. Comparing the data for bananas with and without ethylene, the student concluded that, I don't know, ethylene speeds ripening, right? That's kind of what I'm seeing, right? Or maybe it has to do with the temperature as well, but I don't know. The, this chart seems very easy to kind of understand, Right, the gray bars are shorter than the black bars, so that that the time that it took to ripen is less. So I don't know. Let's just see what the choices say. Twenty degrees is the ideal, no way, temperature at which to store bananas to slow ripening time. Well, first of all, I, the word ideal just scares me. Regardless, I'm not going to cross the choice out because maybe there's something I'm missing. But like the ideal, were we talking in this passage about finding the best thing? Did they ever say what would qualify as the best? I don't think so. So that really scares me. But let's let's check it anyway. Uh, 20 degrees is the ideal temperature at which to store bananas to slow ripening time. No, 20 degrees has the lowest time. So that's going to speed up the ripening time. So I don't know what's going on there. That's just wrong. For those bananas that were not treated with ethylene, differences in temperature were not associated with absolute differences in ripening time. What? For those bananas that were not treated with ethylene, so that's the black bars, differences in temperature were not associated with absolute differences in ripening time. Well, isn't that obviously true? The black bars are different heights. I guess, I don't know what they mean by absolute differences. I guess we could leave that, but this just seems like intuitively wrong. It seems like this is saying that uh, temperature does not matter, but it clearly does. These are different sizes, these rectangles. So I don't know. Let's, let's go to C. Bananas treated with ethylene ripen faster at 14 and 16 degrees than at 18 and 20. Okay, with ethylene, that's the gray bars in 14 and 16. No, they're slower at 14 and 16 because those gray bars are higher, right? That means there's more time going by. Am I missing something Something here? Banana ripening time at different temperatures. No, the eight, eight days is longer than whatever 18 is, uh, five and a half days, right? So they don't ripen faster, they ripen slower. D, ethylene was associated with a greater absolute, there's that part again, Absolute change in ripening time at 14, 16, 18, and, tw uh, and, uh, and 18, then at 20. So absolute change, I guess I have to kind of understand what this means, right? I didn't think about this at all. But I guess the absolute change is kind of like this distance between the black bar with no ethylene and the, uh, the, bar, the gray bar with it, right? So like here, we obviously have a, a pretty big change based on what the ethylene does, right? That's a change of like three days. Whereas at 20 degrees, uh, that's a day, that's like a day and a half. So the ethylene was associated with a greater absolute change in ripening time, right? So what's the difference between the black bar and the gray bar? It's definitely bigger for 14, 16, and 18 than it is for the 20. So I'm okay with that. Let's go back to B just because now I understand this absolute thing a little bit better. For those bananas that were not treated with ethylene differences in temperature were not associated with absolute differences in ripening time. Again, they are, but here I, I'm even wondering if, if absolute means something different. Like, is absolute supposed to be the difference between the gray and the black? Or is it supposed to be like the difference between like one black bar and the next black bar, right? And so that is changing, right? That black bar, the 18 to 20 is a greater absolute difference than 16 to 18. And so if I did the same thing with the gray bars, right? So that's getting back to D, uh, the change from 14 to 16, right? That's just like slope. So that's kind of, I don't know, that's, those are kind of low. And then this one's kind of big, uh, with a greater absolute change in ripening time at 14, 16, 18, then at 20. Now it seems like it's not true, but it, it's, it's definitely D. I think it's probably the absolute change has to do with the, uh, difference between the black bar and the gray bar, but I don't know. This seems very odd. I also don't think this question is that hard. I'm not really tempted with B because either way you measure it, like whether whether the whether the absolute has to do with the difference from black bar to black bar or gray to black in B, either way, 
B choice B is wrong. So I guess I don't have a choice there where at least with D there's one version of reading that that's right. So I'm going to go with that. That's the answer. Uh, I, it doesn't seem that hard to me, especially because, you know, the choices were short. It was fairly easy to check the facts and at least A and C are gone very confidently with the with the data. It's really just B and D that I'm, I'm kind of bothered by, but only a little bit. I, I might bookmark this and just because I'm like, I feel like I'm missing something, but I don't think I'm missing something. At the end of the day, it's just nervousness. I think really this is, I've got the right idea. I think it's supposed to be that difference between the black and the gray when you treat it with ethylene. What's happening? What's that absolute difference between how fast they ripen? That's kind of what we're supposed to, to look at. And at least there I can prove it. So I'd be pretty good with this answer. I'm, I'm certainly good with it now. 